Good afternoon and welcome. Today I start a new project and uh, it's about a piece of vintage tech that has been a great influence in my life, uh, yet it's sadly lost. My project is about its revival but in another form. I'm of course talking about the computer of my childhood, my teenage years and my early 20s, the Commodore Amiga. I know, I can emulate it but I wish to create a standalone retro machine. And uh, for this, I will be using my Raspberry Pi 2. Now, this is the first time I have uh, used this and created uh, a project with this. So this will be an interesting learning experience. <laughs> this video will be an introduction to the Amiga and my creativity with it uh, back in the day. Uh, also in oncoming videos, I will share with you my background and history with regards to the Amiga. Uh, so you will have some sort of understanding why I have such motivation for this project. So let's get started. Okay, so I've just set my um, Amiga emulator up and I've uh, set, I've configured it. This hard drive was basically my um, hard drive, my main Amiga hard drive uh, back in 2000 around this time. So I managed to save that, thank god. Um, okay, so let's just load this thing. The moment I started messing about with the Amiga, I got hooked. It was great. It was a great outlet for creativity, whether that be drawing things or creating animations in deluxe paint, or messing about with music samples and writing music in uh, Soundtrack Pro or Octomed or other applications like this. It became a companion of mine in my childhood and in my teenage years, as in the true meaning of the word, mi Amiga. It is a sub of my uh, artwork, if you want to call it from when I was like five or six or something. I just used to spend so much time just, you know, drawing and stuff on this. I had more than this. Was it all gone? I think it's still on floppy disks somewhere. Like, there's no... <laughs> oh my god, I remember this. I used to do so many of these, uh, these patterns. But I remember this one. <laughs> It's like days of innocence, freaking sp spring snakes coming out of the, <laughs> out of the chimney. <laughs> when I got a little older, um, like in uh, school, the school days, the school years, I started uh, writing music uh, on this thing, uh, and uh, it's like uh, when I was like 13, 14 years old. Oh my god, I did a lot as well. It's like all my all my tunes that I made. <laughs> I mean, it's like the latest one. I guess I made seventy two or something like this. But yeah. Okay, so you have these are all the different sounds. My knowledge in music was based on this. This is basically a tracker program. Just if I just click record, just move his face. <laughs> it's like someone's staring at me. So the keys on the keyboard are basically like the musical keys. So if I wanted to add to this. Ah, okay. It was this. And I just added that. I did the entire song in the way I've just de demonstrated to you. And I'm sure you would recognize this song from uh, another one of my videos and that's the the visualization project which I did. It's like the final how it's ended up today.
still don't know how to read music, how to read notations. But it's just messing around with the sounds themselves. And that's how I learned. I used to spend hours, like I remember staying up all night just to kind of, you know, <laughs> finish off each one of these uh, pieces of music. And it was just, I couldn't wait till it was finished so I can just like listen to it. It started with things like this. This is basically a sample editor. Oh my god, I haven't seen this thing. The last time I was using this was when I was like 11. But I used to love this program. I used to mess around with it so much. Can you freaking let me go down? Okay, this is not... I don't think this program likes to be emulated. Uh, anyway, this is another one. Uh, it's Octomud. The Polar chip on uh, the Amiga, the sound chip, could only do four channels. But uh, there were programs like Octomud and uh, other programs like Digibooster Pro that could do you know more than you know eight channels or more. I don't know how they did this. I'm sure any other fellow Amiga lovers out there will explain if they know. <laughs> you know, because I have no idea. These are not mine, by the way. These are just you know one such a found around I used to collect modules all the time. So it's using six now. This thing I would have liked to use it, but I never I never could get my head around it. It just it wasn't as user friendly as the other one, this this one. I used to gnaw my way around this absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. Basically what I'm showing you is, you know, why the Amiga has left such a mark on me. Why I have such uh, affection for it. Uh, I mean, not only are the games excellent. I mean, back then you'd have games on, you know, the Genesis, the, you know, the Atari ST, things like this. And the Amiga version, in my opinion, was always the best. <laughs> Back in the years when I started getting decent emulation for the Amiga, I enjoyed the games, but I missed my Zipstick joysticks, which in my opinion were the best. They were well built, robust, and endured a lot of rage and abuse. <laughs> I'm sure I still have one lying around in the attic somewhere. I felt there's nothing worse than playing Amiga games on an analog joystick. I was just unable to comfortably. So I decided to get these Competition Pro joysticks, which were remade into USB versions. These feel exactly like my zipsticks from back in the day. I'm glad I bought these now because uh, they are actually a little hard to get hold of now. I think it's just one place and that's Amiga Kit. And of course, I'll put a link in the description in case you want to get yourself one. I'm sure each Amiga lover out there has got their reasons for, you know, having such a such such affection for this machine and uh, I think it's been the most influential machine in this way it's just such, got such a nice environment basically this is the first ever game that I that I played you know I'm talking about first ever game that I played I mean this is um, I was like about six years old and my brother showed me it and that's when the Amiga thing began <laughs> but after I played this game and you could still jump over the ghost, which had, uh, which could jump, the green ones. I always jumped over them. <laughs> Ooh, that green ball. I remember it. Oh, you freak! I was gonna... Oh. If I continue with this, I'm just gonna be playing all night. <laughs> I'm not really a gamer, not these days, except for Minecraft. And that's because it's creative as well. You know, it's got a cre any game that's got a creative nature, it kind of, it, it grabs hold of me. I wish to say thanks so much for watching, and also your likes, your comments, your shares, your interaction, and uh, also to subscribe for more. Adios.